Hi everyone, I'm Lilycraft Danny and this is Floss Tube number 64. Welcome to my last update video for the year 2020. It's the 31st of December, so it's actually the last day of 2020. Um, I had planned to do my update video and the book parade yesterday, and I just did not feel like it because I was super tired. Um, there were a few things I wanted to finish up before I would film, and therefore I decided to go with it today. Um, and then I thought, um, how much time does updates video take me normally with editing and uploading and stuff? And then I thought about my Vaporate and <laughs> how much time such a Vaporate would take just for filming. Um, as it's New Year's Eve, grocery shopping is only possible till around 2 p.m. I still have to get some because otherwise I won't have anything to eat for tomorrow and for today I think also not really. Um, so I need to do that and in the end I decided I'm going to do my update video today just like a normal update video and tomorrow on the 1st of January I'm going to do my 2020 review video um, as well as plans for 2021 and a call with a rate. So that's going to come tomorrow. Um, as I said today, just a normal update video, like all the time. With, well, with telling you a little bit about my, my year end goals, um, just because that's kind of what I'm concentrating at the moment for stitching. So therefore it just kind of fits to, to have that um, included. Okay. Let's get started, shall we? Um, it's been one and a half weeks since my last update video. As I said, because I wanted to do the update video together with my book parade. That's kind of the way I, I like it, to have an update video and then not have any progress or at least not a lot of progress to the book parade. Um, that's just how my mind works. <laughs> um, for me, update video is update video and book parade is book parade, so therefore for me, it just works out better um, if I do it close together, so there's not a whole lot of difference between those two videos. Um, as I said, I'm going to do my book parade tomorrow, so today's stitching will then be an update in the book parade. Um, but otherwise, I wanted to have them very close together. So, okay, now let's get started. Um, and let's get started with the uh, Temperature Garden by Stitching Mommy. I've been working on this one once a week for the last year for 2020 and uh, I did work on it yesterday evening a little bit after midnight because that meant I could finish it uh, through to the 30th of December. So every day you stitch one flower petal or um, every flower petal resembles one day um, and I stitch it in the highest temperature or in a color that resembles the highest temperature of the day. So I'll show a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I'm at right now. So as I said, I finished it through to the 30th of December. There's only one flower petal missing. I have to hold it down here because I have stitched my zip code and um, the city I live in. So that, uh, that's some information I do not want to have um, on the internet and therefore I have to hold it a little bit carefully. Um, but yeah, as I said, it's done through till the 30th of December and today at exactly midnight, I'm going to stitch the last flower petal. Here in Germany, we have a full lockdown. Um, we are only to, allowed to have, I think, five persons and two households. Um, for Sylvester party or for meeting um, and in the end I decided I just stay on my own. Um, maybe there will be some fireworks from neighbors, I won't do anything, I just stay at home and at midnight I'm going to stitch the last flower petal. Um, this whole thing is stitched on 28 count, one over one full crosses, needle minder is from Lakeside Needlecraft and it, as soon as I stitch that last flower petal the, um, tonight at midnight I will have a finish. Um, really looking forward to that and um, my goal is actually met. My goal was to finish it through to the 25th of December. That's already done. 
So it's just kind of a bonus to, to finish the whole piece in 2020. But I think it's a nice way to celebrate a new year with finishing the project that resembles 2020. So yeah, looking forward to that. Bring Again, bring it a little bit closer. So this is the whole piece. Really, really happy with that one. As I said, tomorrow in my Vaporate, it will already be a finish. That's exciting. Okay, where did I put that? Um, normally I have hair um, bands around my projects to keep them together. And the one for temperature garden, I just found. <laughs> I thought I lost, but I just found it. It's, uh, it does not have any color, so it's easy to oversee. Okay, let's move to full coverage. I had two full coverage pieces, not yet done. And as 2020 was my year of full coverage, I really wanted to have those goals finished. So one of those was Supersized Max Color Cliffhanger. Artwork is by Amy Stewart and charted by Heaven Enough Designs. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. And I'll show you a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I'm at. So since you saw it last, I started page number three and did all those stitches on page number three. They are, um, they are close to 1,100 stitches on that page already in, and therefore my year end goal of 16,000 stitches is met. This one is stitched on a 40 count, 1 over 1 10 stitch, and I'm really happy with my progress, and I'm really happy with um, the page I'm on, because to finish that page I have 6 or 7 colors missing, and that's a max color chart, so that's super amazing, because next year my goal will be met um, a lot easier just because it's super fast stitching on that page um, yeah really happy really really happy with this one um, i'm in the enchanted stitching challenges group on facebook and with this project and my progress over the last well, one and a half weeks um, i finished two challenges i finished a watch challenge so um, an enchanted stitching challenges group you have one movie for each month, month, and for December it was Beauty and the Beast. Um, and if you watch the movie while stitching, um, you get points. And if you watch the movie by, while stitching on um, a related project, you get some more points. And I stitched on this one because books are related to Belle, because she loves to read, and um, yeah, I decided to stitch on this one. And I, uh, last video I told you, I won't get a lot of stitches done, the video is only close to one and a half hours, not even, um, and therefore I won't get a lot of stitches done, so it's easy, I can do the next challenge without problem. Well, I actually did 291 stitches in those one and a half hours watching the movie. That's pretty cool, and I did not expect that, but yeah, as I said, not a whole lot of colors on this page. Um, but I still had enough stitches left for my year-end goal to finish um, the next challenge, with, which was a stitch on something with lock and key, or lock or key. Um, I did not have that, so I went for the penalty uh, stitches option, therefore I had to do 750 10 stitches. Um, yeah, and with those 750 and my close to 300 in the watch party, I had about 50 stitches left to finish my year-end goal, so yeah. That worked out quite good. And here is where I'm at. I'm so happy with this project and can't wait for next year to continue a little bit on this one. Um, I actually this year finished that page, stitched those three pages completely and started that one. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, here we go. Cliffhanger. Um, and then I moved on. No, I... Well, yes, I did. Um, then I moved on to my second um, full coverage piece that was still missing some stitches for my goal. And the project is Colorway Mountains by Golden Kite. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. And I show you a picture of what it looked like last time here. So this is the whole piece. And since it's at last, I finished two columns and therefore a page up in here. I finished one column in here and started the next one. 
Um, this one is stitched on 25 count to over one 10 stitch needle minder is from Denkai Designs. Um, and last video I told you I tried to do all my full colored stitches before Christmas, therefore about 3000 stitches in three days. That did not work out. Um, so when I drove home to my parents for Christmas, I did take this project with me, but did not stitch on it. Um, and therefore, I think I finished it on the 28th um, or 27th, I think the 27th um, of uh, December. I had about 800 stitches left to do, so I did those and I'm really happy with this one. Um, with this page finish up in here, I actually finished my sixth page for the year. So I finished page two, three, and four up in the first row and everything below that. So those two pages and that one down here as well. Yeah, really happy. And up in here, there are three more pages missing to get to the other side of the pattern. Um, but yeah, I'm presently working on this page down in here to keep going with my diagonal pages. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, happy with this one. It's not one of my biggest full coverage pieces, so it's kind of fast stitching and the pages are super small. That's why I got so many pages done this year. Yeah, that's Conway and Mountains. I did one challenge with this one as well for penalty stitches. So um, 750, 10 stitches for the challenge and the rest was just um, stitching to get my year and goal done. Um, which were also 16,000 stitches, and I managed to do that as well. Okay, and then let's move to all the other pieces I stitched on. Um, there was <sighs> too much challenges, too much challenges. Um, the first one was to stitch on something where I need some extra motivation, and I did decide to stitch on Tiger Chilling Out. It's a kit by Dimensions. As it's Black Ada, um, and this one I had to froggle a whole lot last year, this year. I noticed a mis mistake last year and frogged it all this year. So I need every motivation I can get for this project. Um, so I show a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I'm at right now. So as I said, it's stitched on Black Ada. It's 18 count and I'm stitching to over one full cross. Um, my goal for the year was to finish this column and then stitch this one. Um, last time you saw it, I was still working on this column in here. I finished that one and have moved on to the next one. And I'm pretty close to finishing that one as well. Um, the needle is from Denkai Designs. Sorry for all the crinkling, but I need to have something behind the fabric, otherwise you would just see through. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty close to my goal. As I said, only this column missing, um, which means about three colors, something like that. So yeah, I'm really happy um, with what I did. As I said, one challenge and then I um, did stitch some more on it because I really hope to finish my goal on this one this year, um, which would mean I have to stitch on it today to finish my goal. But that would be really nice to actually be able to do that. So we'll see about that. Uh, I hope I get some time to stitch on it today. Yeah, take it chilling out. Um, if I finish that uh, column, I will actually have the first quarter done. Uh, so the top left quarter will be done. Because down here, that line is actually um, the halfway point. Um, and that column line over here will be the halfway point with wise. So finishing that would mean the first quarter is done. It's the, the quarter with the smallest amount of stitching. Um, but nevertheless, <laughs> it would mean one quarter done. So yeah, here we go. Tiger so chilling out, super happy with how this one is turning out. It's just, it's black Ada. I, I only stitch on it during day, daylight because um, with artificial light, it's so complicated to stitch on this one and I don't really like it. So I always kind of wait for daylight to stitch on this one. And during winter, there's not a lot of daylight, so not a lot of stitching on my tiger. Okay. Um, there's one challenge miss missing. I'll show you that project in a bit. Let's move first to Northern Expressions Needlework, 
sorry, the twist span sampled by Northern Expression needn't work. That's what it's going to look like, except for the corner that's going to look a little bit better. But I had um, an accident with some border which flowed over my pattern and therefore it does look a little bit wonky. I can read everything in there, so I'm not printing it again. But yeah, that corner is not really visible on the pattern. Uh, sorry, on the picture, but I'm still up in here, so that's no problem. So I'll show you a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I'm at right now. So since you said last, I um, did close to everything in here. I think I had three rows done up here. This one is stitched on 32 count um, white opalescent linen, stitching one over two with the call for dinky dies and the needle minder is from Dankai Designs. I'm sorry, I had to call. So um, yeah, that's the Twisted Band Sampler. And this is one of three projects where I know I won't get my goal done, but I wanted to get at least a little bit of stitching done in December. So yesterday I did stitch two hours on this one and yeah, that's what I did in those two hours. Um, if I finish my goal on Tiger and stitch on those other twos today and have some time left, I might go back to this one, but not sure about that. Um, but yeah, really happy with this one. Next year it will get some more attention because next year it probably is my primary travel stitching piece. So yeah, therefore it will get a lot of progress, at least more than this year. Um, okay, let's move to the last two projects I stitched on. I did not show you my travel stitching yet. So my travel stitching is the Hello Dear Cell by Caterpillar Prof Stitch and I'll show you a picture of what it looked like last time here. And I have a finish. This one is stitched on 28 count, one over one full cross. Um, and I used it as travel stitching, so I traveled to my parents by train, um, which means about five and a half hours one way. I had a lot of time stitching on this one. So um, I finished part number four on the train because on the way to my parents, I did sleep quite a lot of the time because I had a night shift and directly went over to the train. Um, so I did sleep during the tra train ride, but on my way back, I stitched quite a lot on this one and finished part number four, which was the one with the deer. Um, and back home, I spent one whole day stitching only on this project. And I did finish part number five, which is basically a few leaves up in here, the tree trunk, the presents, and that little bit of brighter grass over here. Um, I did stitch all of that in one day, which is pretty amazing. I did not ha uh, think I would be able to. I was did not think I would be able to do that, but I actually did. So I'm pretty happy with that. So this is the Hello Dear Cell, and that means um, my winter tree is done, and the autumn tree is done as well. I stitched that one during summer last year, and I'm going to pause this video and show you the piece. So this is the autumn tree. This is Hello Pumpkin, also by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Also stitch 28 count, one over one for cross. And now I have winter done as well. Um, I ordered the kit and with the kit fabric, that's why I have so much margin on those fabrics because she intended you to stitch two over two and I decided to go with one over one. And therefore the fabric is way too big and I probably could have turned it um, landscape mode and stitched two of those trees on one piece of fabric. Um, but honestly, I just decided to go with, with the kit. And um, yeah, therefore, they are pretty, um, have a lot of margin. Um, the other two trees are supposed to come out next year. At least that's what you can read into um, what Sally, so the owner of Caterpillar Cross Stitch, um, writes on her Facebook page. Um, and as soon as they come out, I will order them and again do the stitch along. And whenever I have all four of those trees done, I will um, FFO them into cushions and until or pillows. And until then, they're going to stay like this, finished but not FFO'd. Okay. Um, that was my travel stitching and then I said there was one more challenge left and um, 
the challenge was something like sit on something that makes you happy and celebrates life, something like that. And I said I'm going to stitch on Royal Games number one by Nuremberg and I show a picture of what it looked like last time here. And I finished that one as well. I'm so happy. Um, I did not think, sorry for bumping the camera. I did not think that was possible because there's quite a lot of stitching up in her head um, with her hair over here, um, the spade and those things over there. All the back stitching, um, but yeah, she's so beautiful, and there are so many beads. So this is the whole piece. Queen of Hearts, I have finished, I think, beginning of the year or middle of the year, and during the end or the second half of the year, I concentrated a lot of Queen of Spades. So I will put Queen of Spades in here, so you can see all those beads. Over here, there are a few beads in there, a few beads over here in her sleeve. And then there are so many beads in here, and her necklace on the front of her dress, on here over the choker, and below there are so many beads in, up in her hair. I'm not sure if you can see that. Up in her hair there are so many beads in here. It's so crazy. Um, I finished all the back stitching while, I think while it worked. I took this one as troll stitching when I only had the borders of the coat missing. Uh, so I took it as travel stitching and finished it at work, um, which is crazy to take a project like this with me to work. But I just had or I just wanted to finish um, the back stitching. So when at home I could start beading, um, spend the rest of the day beading and hopefully finish it. And that's what I did. But it did take, I think, six and a half hours for beading. And those parts of her dress over here and her sleeve I had already done. So only that part in the middle here and her hair, head and over here and of course those over there took me six and a half hours to finish. So that, that it's just crazy how much time beading takes. But yeah, she's beautiful. And that actually means I can start Royal Games number two, so the Queen of Clubs and the Queen of Diamonds next year. And have them all finished. So bring them a little closer. And they're so amazing. Really happy with this one. Um, again, I'm going to wait until I have the companion piece uh, finished as well. Royal Games number two. Um, and then I'm going to frame them together. But yeah. Really happy. Really, really happy. And that means... I'm now down to 20 whips. I want to finish Temperature Garden today, and therefore that will mean I go into the next year with less than 20 whips, which was my goal. Um, because uh, I want to whip down, I said that last video. In the end, I want to get at around 10 to 15 whips, um, still way above that. But more than half of it are big full coverage pieces. So they, they will take some time before I can actually whip down. I'm hoping for 2022, 2023 to finish like two or three of them. That would be really nice. Um, but we'll see about that. But yeah, that's that's all I stitched on during the last one and a half weeks. Um, with tw Twisted Band Sampler, I told you there are three projects I want to stitch on um, during the summer where I won't finish my goal. The other two I have here with me, and I'm going to show them to you because I'm going to stitch on them today. As I did with Twisted Band Sampler, I'm going to stitch on them for two hours, then switch to the next one. And if I have time left, I'm going to stitch on Tiger Chilling Out or Twisted Band Sampler. So one of those projects is Lavender Garden by Rico Designs. So up in here, by Rico Designs. Um, I don't know if it's really called Lavender Garden. I don't know what's the name what the name is. I just call it Lavender Garden myself. Um, so I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. As I did last time, this is the whole piece. It's a tablecloth. Um, there is a band of 14 count Ada in the middle. And the rest is just normal tablecloth fabric. My goal was to finish three and a half sides and I'm not yet done with two. So as I said, not going to make 
my goal. I'm going to stitch on in here. Um, same as I told you last time, I'm going for the border and as well trying to get a little bit done. The big part in the middle down here. So that's the goal for this one. Probably going to be the first one. I'm going to start stitching on just because it's, well, I won't say it's my least favorite, but yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> So getting two hours in that one um, and then moving on to my next one, which is Lalek Ferry. It's a kit by Bavako. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. Um, my goal for this year was to finish it and that did not work out. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm at 50% done, probably a little bit less. This is stitched on 14 count um, Lilac Ada. And um, the background is stitched one over one, the rest is stitched two over one, and I'm probably going to continue in her hair and hair and um, might try to finish that in two hours and then probably moving up into the wing. But yeah, she's beautiful. I love her face. It's her face is so amazing. It was a pain because the back stitching does not align with the squares of the Ada. Um, not at all, actually. Um, but yeah, she looks she looks fabulous. So that's worth it. Um, but yeah, as I said, going to concentrate on her hair and then moving into the wing. Maybe also trying to finish her skin in here. That would be nice as well. But yeah, that's Lala Fairy. As I said, two hours on her as well. And then moving on to... Hopefully finishing another goal on Tiger Chilling Out. Okay, I have to start uploading and uh, editing this video because I, as I said before, have to go grocery shopping still. Um, and I want to do that before they close. So, yeah, I think I showed you everything. As I said, tomorrow is going to be my Vaporate. Um, yeah, probably sometime during the evening, a few hours later than my videos normally upload, just because it will take a whole lot of time to, to film it, to edit it, and also it will take a lot of time to upload. So yeah, that will take some time. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you have a wonderful start into the new year. Um, I hope 2021 is going to be better than 2022 for all of us. I mean, I did not have a really bad 2020, but it was not the, like I imagined it to be. So I hope 2021 means we can meet up with friends again. We can go to restaurants again. Um, that's that's something I really miss, just going out to eat. Um, so yeah, looking, looking forward to that uh, once again. And yeah, see you tomorrow in my Vaporate. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and... Have a wonderful New Year's Eve. <laughs> Bye.